One line means not pregnant. Two lines mean pregnant. A home pregnancy test can tell if a woman is pregnant or not with a few drops of urine sample within a few minutes. But did you know that a home pregnancy test is based on titration, a common analytical method in chemistry? Titration is a technique where a solution of known concentration is used to determine the concentration of an unknown solution. If you would like to know more about titration techniques, please watch my previous video called Titration. I'll post a link below. Although this procedure may feel like a tedious and a boring task, titration has many uses in everyday life, revealing the concentration of unknown solutions. Home pregnancy tests work by detecting the presence of a human chorionic gonadotropin or HCG for short, a hormone that is produced by cells in the placenta in pregnant women. Placenta is an organ which provides nutrients and oxygen from mother to fetus. So what does HCG do? Well, HCG stimulates the corpus luteum, a temporary structure in the ovaries to maintain the pregnancy. The corpus luteum is essential during pregnancy and produces an important hormone called progesterone. Progesterone relaxes the muscular wall of the uterus and prepares its tissue lining so that the embryo can implant. HCG gets produced from the point when the developing embryo attaches to the uterus, approximately 6 to 12 days after conception. HCG concentration increases from conception and peaks between 8 to 11 weeks after conception. For the first few days after conception, HCG levels can be too low to be detected by the pregnancy test. However, after implantation, HCG levels double approximately every 48 hours, making it much easier to detect. HCG gets eliminated from the mother's body through urine and this is what the pregnancy test uses to detect HCG. So, how does a home pregnancy test work? Well, a pregnancy test is comprised of four different zones. Zone 1 is where urine sample is applied. Zone 2 and 3 are where the reactions happen. Finally, zone 4 is the control zone to ensure that the test is working properly. Once urine is applied in zone 1, at the end of the test stick, it is drawn up to the strip due to capillary action. Zone 2 is equipped with mobile antibodies designed to bind to HCG. These mobile antibodies also have a dye-activating enzyme attached to them, which will be used in reactions further along the test strip. Therefore, if HCG is present in the urine, it will bind to antibodies and move through the next zone. Zone 3 is equipped with different immobile antibodies, which means that they are attached to the strip and unable to move. These immobile antibodies also have binding sites for HCG, creating something of a HCG sandwich between the two different antibodies on the strip. Now, the dye-activating enzyme on the mobile antibodies change the test line color on the test strip. This line only appears if the urine contains HCG and therefore if the woman is pregnant. If there is no HCG, which means that the woman is not pregnant, the mobile antibodies just sail on to the next zone, zone 4. Whether the woman is pregnant or not, another line appears on the test called the control zone, zone 4. Here, the excess mobile antibodies that did not pick up HCG bind to the immobile antibodies and continued traveling up the strip. Again, the enzyme on the mobile antibodies changed the test line color. This step proves that the test is functioning properly. Therefore, the control line should show up. In the pregnancy test, the analyte, the unknown that we want to find, is the HCG hormone. The titrant is the substance on the test strip. The indicator is on the test strip as well and it may or may not change color depending on the concentration of HCG. 
more comprehensive pregnancy test requires titration to a blood sample to measure the specific amount of HCG present in the blood. HCG concentration greater than 25 milliunits per milliliter of blood is expressed as positive, in other words, pregnant. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching.